how was the opening title sequence devised and by whom and how many pints did it take to come up with it? Well, I can answer a bit of this, but I need a bit of help from Rob. My memory of this was that when we first got the script, we thought the first thing we need to do is the first thing that needs to be done, which is the model shots, because that's going to be the first thing to be shot before the rest of the show. We sat in a pub in Camberwell and we were sitting there having our important production meeting. And I'm guessing, no, I'm pretty certain about this actually, that we came up with the idea of the great big long spaceship flying. And that was in our first session. And that was approximately, oh, I can't tell you how many pints actually yet, but I, I've got an idea of how many that was. And then we went, had a second meeting in the nameless pub in Camberwell and then had another thought about the opening titles and came up with the idea of Lister cleaning the outside of it. Yeah. And that was another X amount of pints. And then we were so pleased with ourselves that we had another X amount of pints to celebrate how great our ideas was. Luckily, somebody wrote it down because um, I don't really remember the rest of the evening. <laughs> it was, so, so that was uh, where it was devised, and I sort of given some of it away. And then in the end, our, our original idea was to have the spaceship going, 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 and going, 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 and then and then you sort of develop around the front, and it would go in, and you'd see Craig. But it was so complex and different, we had to compromise. So we did have the ship running around, and then we did another shot of it coming across the screen, and then we, we went but in. That's, I mean, it is such a wonderful opening sequence for its time, because first of all, there's the music, and the, you know you're yeah. in some lonely, dangerous, but interesting place. I mean, it really, the, Howard's music just sets it. But then you see this model and it's a model shot and, you know, but but bloody hell, then you pull back and now there's a, a brush going up and down. And now it's actually yeah. what we now know to be Craig Charles. And you pull out, and then you've got that wonderful sequence in the titles where the, where the craft's coming, you're in the belly of the craft with it flying over your head. And so I think in, after 30 seconds, you told so much story yeah. already in the opening titles. I remember, the uh, direction we gave Pete Rag for the model was we wanted it to be non-aerodynamic and ugly because it was a practical, it was I a practical was mining vessel in space, and uh, so it would make it different from any, you know, it wouldn't. Well, and the, the asteroid embedded in the side of it, yeah, presumably as a result of that, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do remember going to the model studio and seeing it, and it was it was seven foot long. Um, and they painted it red, and I, I thought, no, I, I didn't mean to be red. I didn't want a red spaceship. <laughs> and, and but it kind of grew on me. Was Lister painting the ship because of the punishment detail in State? I think that's what we, we came down to. Yeah, to explain his grumpy face. Yeah, my understanding was my think was it was originally it was six pints on the first meeting when we thought about the overhead shot between um, three of us. Yeah, so it's two pints each. Right. We were quite restrained in those days. And then the second section, the second session we had, which was where we came up with the painting idea, that was another six pints, so that's, that's 12. And then we celebrated with another three pints, so that's 15. So the answer to uh, how many pints have come to devise the opening titles was 15 pints. Well, 45 between all of us. Oh, yes. Okay, you're going to pick, you're going to be nitpicky on my maths. <laughs> yes. Okay, yes. It, it just sounds better, doesn't it? Yeah, it does actually. <laughs> 45. 